Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good. I got a little bit more tea for you guys here. So if you guys do not know, Regine Carter, honey, has been trending all morning long because Miss Regine celebrated her birthday. She went all out. If you guys do not know, she's been promoting this for the past few days. She decided to have a throwback 2000s party and pay homage to her father's original group, Hot Boys. They was the shit back in the 99s and the 2000s. Bling, bling. Every time I come around your city, bling, bling. Think it rang with about it, bling, bling. Every time I buy a new ride, bling, bling. Like, oh my gosh, so many memories from watching everything go down. And it was really dope, you know, to see her celebrating her birthday. As we all know, Regina done got some new titties, honey. You can't tell her shit. Um, dressing very, very sexy. She got her body done, stomach on flat, flat. So now we see why she was shading all them women. She was shading them because she too wanted to be able to dress like them and not feel insecure. So, you know, the, the titty implants, you know, have gave her a whole new sense of confidence. She look gorgeous in her throwback 1999 2000s hot girl outfit i was here for it okay but the only thing that has me a little bit worried was this was a huge ass super spreader event and that's what everybody's calling it on social media everybody the who's who's of atlanta showed up she was there with her boyfriend Lucci. If you guys don't know, they are back together. Her daddy Wayne was there. Juvenile was there. Monica, Tamika. Zanique was there, big and pregnant. Her and her um, baby daddy, Izzy, they were there. But I didn't see a lot of masks. Didn't see anybody with mask on. I mean, this club was packed. There were no masks, you know, and that's what's troubling a lot of people. You know, I don't think people are necessarily hating or mad. I think she deserves to celebrate her birthday. A lot of us, myself included, are tired of sitting in this damn house. But I just feel like at this point, it seems like there's two different rules, okay? It seems like if you are a politician or a celebrity, you can have events. City Girls had a big party the other day at the club. They had, like, they performed. It was packed. I barely saw any masks. Um, and then we've had even Governor Newsom of California. He was called out because he himself went to a party. You got the nerve to shut down the state of California, but you and your friends are partying. And people blasted him. That, that is why people started marching and took to the streets of Huntington Beach because they were pissed off. Because hardworking store owners have to shut down their businesses. They can't have folks at their restaurants. They're losing their livelihood. Meanwhile, Governor Newsom is out here partying and living his best life. San Francisco is also rolling back reopenings. Beginning this Friday, restaurants in the city will once again be forced to close all indoor dining. We have to make the hard decisions. San Francisco Mayor London Breed announcing a new set of rollbacks for the city after COVID cases jumped nearly 250% since October. We're asking for a lot to sacrifice so that we. The changes include the rolling back of indoor dining at restaurants, bars, and other indoor venues around the city. Fitness centers and movie theaters will have to keep capacity to 25% or 50 people. That's down from 100 people. And high schools that have yet to reopen will have to remain closed. Without these changes, city officials fear we could see a surge in cases greater than what we saw in the summer. In Chicago, Mayor Lightfoot shut down everything. You know, Chicago's under mandatory lockdown. But she managed to go get her hair done, <laughs> okay? She has a teeny-weeny afro. She knows damn well she could have washed it in the shower and went on, picked it out and went on about her business. But she went to go get her hair done, and this has happened not once but twice, and people have called her out about that. And her whole thing is, well, I'm in the public eye, so I need to look presentable. You know, so I think that's the part that's frustrating people. You know, wow, happy birthday to Regine. The party looked dope. It was really cool to see Juvie and Wayne in the same spot and see just a lot of people. She really looked like she enjoyed herself but you know it's very frustrating for regular folks when we couldn't even have a regular thanksgiving and usually we have a house full of people you know and that's just trying to be decent and look out and not spread things and not get other people sick so i think that's where a lot of the frustration is coming from but like i said either way they turned up they had a good time y'all go ahead and try out these video clips check this out i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary
Yeah. I was about mm, 14, 15 when I had this beautiful princess right here. She taught me how to be a man in everything about life. This is the motherfucking most ultimate blessing in the world. Virginia Carter. Along with her three brothers, along with her beautiful mother, I couldn't ask for anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, again, this is the celebration of my beautiful daughter, Reggie Carter. Let's have fun. Everybody. My baby's getting handsome, handsome. Happy birthday, baby's got to be going and shining. I like that pussy out cold, and you can beat the straps out. I like that you can beat the straps out. I like that you can beat the straps out. I like that you can beat the straps out. I like that you can beat the straps out. I like that you can beat the straps out. Right, so you guys just saw the clips. You guys just saw Regine, Wayne, and it seems like the who's who of ATL was there. And it looked like everybody had a genuinely good time. There was no drama. There was no fights. You guys also saw the comments from many people in the shade room and on social media. Um, you know, I think the reviews were definitely mixed. You had a lot of people who were like, you know what? She looked beautiful. This was lit. I wish I was there. And then you had other people who were like, okay, I'm confused. Is Atlanta immune from the COVID? Because it seems like every weekend there's a big function in Atlanta with thousands of people and not a mask in sight. Meanwhile, in other cities around the nation, we're shut down. We can't leave our houses. You know, the restaurants are shut down. The clubs are shut down. So it almost seems like Atlanta is its own little country. Can you fill us in on what y'all are doing down there that we're not doing? Because we want to kick it. We want to have a good old funky time. Anybody saying that that party was look whack or whatever, you're a hater. The damn party looked lit as hell, okay? Everybody looked like they were having a good damn time. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. It's about celebrating life. And I understand, you know, Wayne kind of getting emotional about his daughter because he was 15 when he had her. He was young. And when you're a young parent like that, you're literally trying to raise yourself and raise your child. So when you see your child has blossomed into the woman or the man that they become, you know what I'm saying? It makes you super happy and super proud. So I understand why her parents went all out to throw this party. But during a pandemic, I don't know. OK, I understand why folks are worried and why folks definitely feel away about them throwing this huge party. Because imagine if one person in there had COVID and it spreads, then they take that back into the community. And that is the fear that a lot of people have right now. And it's a genuine fear because a lot of people are dying. You know, even though I wholeheartedly believe that this is a pandemic and that this was planned and, you know, the C-19 virus was created in a lab in Wuhan, I wholeheartedly believe that. But that does not negate the fact that the virus is real and that people are dying from it. And even so much so today, Ice-T took to social media a few hours ago to talk about what's going on with his father-in-law. Earlier today, Ice-T took to social media to talk about Coco's father. 
And he basically said that Coco's father did not believe in wearing masks and he ended up in the ICU. So this is what he tweeted. He says, my father-in-law, Coco's dad, was a serious no masker. COVID hit him, pneumonia in both lungs, 40 days in ICU close to death. Now he's on oxygen indefinitely. Oh, he's a believer now. Hashtag COVID is not a game. So that is somebody right there, you know, who's in the industry letting people know. So a lot of people were not feeling Regine's quote unquote super spreader event. But um, yeah, I just think that it is unfair that a lot of celebrities, you know, this is not to throw shade at Regine, um, but I think it is unfair. And I understand people getting upset on social media that the regular public are told to not have people over for Thanksgiving and to not go here. And this is shut down and, you know, your business is closing. But then you have people in leadership positions like governors and mayors getting caught, getting their hair done, going to parties. Nancy Pelosi is under fire today after surveillance video shows her at a hair salon getting a blowout and not wearing a face mask. The optics don't look good. No. There needs to be a whole no. lot of explanation. About it's terrible. Nancy Pelosi is a hypocrite. The most powerful woman in America can be seen with wet hair inside a salon in San Francisco. Problem is, under California COVID-19 regulations, clients cannot be serviced indoors. All blowouts, dye jobs, and styling must be conducted outdoors like this. The owner of the salon, Emily Kia, says to get by during the pandemic, she rents out chairs in her salon to several independent stylists. On Sunday night, one of those stylists texted her to say that Nancy Pelosi was coming in for a blowout. After the appointment was over, she checked the security footage and was not happy with what she saw. It was a slap in the face that she went in, you know, that she feels that she can just go and get her stuff done while no one else can go in and I can't work, Kias tells Fox News. It is just disturbing. President Trump wasted no time reacting to the video, tweeting, Crazy Nancy Pelosi is being decimated for having a beauty parlor opened while all others are closed and for not wearing a mask, despite constantly lecturing everyone else. The timestamp on the video says 3.08 p.m. Less than three hours later, she appeared on MSNBC with perfectly coiffed hair. Late today, an annoyed Pelosi spoke to reporters. I take responsibility for trusting uh, the word of a neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years many times. And that um, when they said, well, we're able to accommodate people one person at a time and that we can set up that time, I trusted that. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. Now, I just had my hair washed. I don't wear a mask when I'm washing my hair. Do you wear a mask when you're washing your hair? You have celebrities blatantly throwing parties, you know, in packed clubs, but folks are told that they're not even allowed to have their family over, you know, during the holidays. And who knows what's going to happen around Christmas. So the whole situation is crazy. But once again, happy birthday to her. And it definitely looked like a dope party. And I think the fact that she brought it back to the 99 in the 2000s, I was definitely here for it. Y'all know I'm big on nostalgia. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know how you guys feel about this entire situation. With Regina throwing a huge birthday bash for her 22nd birthday. You guys feel like, you know, they are two separate rules and it seems like certain people like celebrities and politicians are moving differently than the rest of the public do you think that's fair do you think that it's not fair do you feel like they can get away with it because they have better you know access to health care you know better access to medication and things like that whereas the regular public may not have that access so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment make sure you guys hit that subscribe button don't forget to thumbs up and share the video and also last but not least don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you can be down with the notifications honey so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces